So starting with the gloves, you're just going to take a piece of relatively square duct tape, and it doesn't have to be perfect, and you're just going to fold in one corner. And then you're just going to fold in the other corner to make a triangle. And then you'll still have a sticky edge at the top. So then get yourself a black glove, and you're just going to stick the piece of tape over one of the fingers with the point side out. And you're just going to do that all the way down the glove. In order to get the pieces to stick to the main part of the glove, you might have to just put a few flat pieces of tape across the center and then stick your little triangles to that. And so here's the entirely covered glove and it's flexible enough that you can move your fingers. And so I put a few pieces to connect the triangles over the fingers just to make sure that they'd stick. And so then of course I'll just give the gloves a coating of silver paint. And you can leave the undersides black because that's the way that they were in the movie. So then you just mix together some silver and black acrylic paint to make a dark silver. And you're just going to haphazardly dab that onto the silver spray painted gloves. And that'll make it look like hammered metal. And so here they are fully painted. So first I got myself an old baby blanket from the secondhand shop and it's got a nice knitted pattern which will work well as chainmail. So then you're just going to cut it off so it sits below your hips where you want the bottom of your chainmail to be. So then just fold it in half. You want to make sure that it's wide enough to fit around you. And then you're just going to sew down each side and that will be the sides of your chainmail. Make sure that it's long enough from the top to the bottom to reach down below your hips. So then you just want to cut out a next face and fold the edges over and sew the raw edges. And so here you can see where I sewed off the collar. You don't really have to use anything special. You can just use whip stitch to do this. Just enough to keep the threads from unraveling. So once you have your fully formed chainmail vest, you just want to give it a coating of silver spray paint. So then you're going to mix together some silver and black acrylic paint to make kind of a dark silvery gray. And then you're just going to dab that right over the silver painted yarn to give it a varied effect. And here's the completely painted chainmail. So then get yourself a piece of plain black material. And you're going to put three tucks on each side of it. Sew the tucks in place and then sew a snap in the center of the tucks. You'll do that to both sides. Then you'll sew the corresponding snap to each shoulder of the chainmail. Then just snap the black fabric onto each side and you have your cape. Next cut an oval out of a piece of 8th inch craft foam. Use a heat gun to make your circle slightly bowl shaped. Then cut seven spikes out of the foam, making four a little bit taller than the other three. And then use a heat gun to curve the spikes, leaving a flat part at the bottom to glue on. Glue all seven spikes onto one end of your oval. And then you repeat all that again to get two spiked ovals. Next take a piece of foam large enough to go across your chest and cut out a circle and a triangle. Fold the piece of foam in half and snip it at the halfway points. Heat up the pieces you just snipped to make a ridge along the center of each piece. Then you'll take the piece you cut out of the center and put the other two pieces over it. Then you're going to hot glue those right on top of it to give your armor dimension. Next you'll fold two sheets of foam in half and cut them down the center to make yourself four panels, each about a foot wide. So then you'll stack three pieces of scrap foam on top of one another, with the third one being a little bit bigger than the other two. Hot glue them together and then cut around the edges to make all the edges smooth and even. And so then you're going to hot glue your chest armor right over the top of that. So then mix two parts glue to one part water and you're just going to coat all your foam armor in several coats of that. Then give all the armor a coating of silver spray paint. And then you'll just dab over it with the same mix of black and gray paint that you use for the chainmail and the gloves. So then I just took some sticky back velcro and I put it on the chainmail and on the corresponding armor pieces so that you can just velcro them right to the chainmail without having to do a lot of fancy finagling to get into the armor. And you're really only going to need front armor because the cape will hide the back so you won't really need armor on the back so using two panels for the front armor and go right over the chest piece like that. So in the other two panels, I just heated them up so that they would wind around the arm. And then put a little bit of sticky back Velcro right on the flap. And then you'll just put it around your arm and match up some sticky back Velcro along this edge to correspond with the Velcro on the flap. And those will be your bracers. And so then here is the finished Soren costume. Victory was at hand, but the power of the ring 
could not be undone. 